John Gosselin has come out to speak against his ex-wife, Kate, accusing her of horrible behavior, among other things, as he's responding to what her and their daughter, Maddie, have recently said following a documentary that came out about their time on John and Kate Plus 8. Not too long ago, I talked about how Vice did this mini doc covering the Gosselin family. It was part of their series titled Dark Side of the 2000s. John, Hannah, and Colin sat down to be interviewed and speak out about their time on TV and what unfolded when the cameras weren't rolling as well. Colin talked at great length about his time away from his family because his mom Kate had sent him away to a behavioral institute at one point. Colin said he felt like he was sent away for different reasons than the ones that his mom gave on the show, which was that she was not able with her own resources at home to meet his needs anymore. Colin said that he began to tell his teachers that his mom was abusive and he was telling people what was going on at home and said that he felt like she had sent him away to a place that that type of information wouldn't get out to the public. And Kate has since denied allegations of any sort of abuse against Colin or any of her kids. Colin said that while he was away, he was in a really dark place and he has not been in communication with his mom since or any of the siblings that live with her. He ended up reaching out to John to get help and eventually John was able to save him and bring him home and get full custody of him. John said that he spent about a million dollars fighting to try and get Colin out of the facility that Kate sent him to. And John also was able to get full custody of their daughter, Hannah, because she said she didn't like what happened to Colin and chose to live with her dad. And John was allowed that full custody, which he said he never thought he was going to be able to get custody of any one of his kids. But the documentary obviously doesn't paint Kate in a good light in these situations, having sent her son away. And after a couple days of the documentary being out, Maddie, one of their oldest daughters, ended up responding to everything as there were a lot of people in her Instagram comments asking her why she she doesn't talk to her brother and what kind of happened and how can she still support her mom and she posted saying i never wanted to have to speak up about this in order to allow my brother the ability to live privately after the conclusion of our family's tv show but i've been overwhelmed by hate messages in the last few days and i feel i must set the record straight i do not owe my allegiance to any person persons who has physically threatened me and every member of my immediate family, some incidents as recent as last year. Further, I will never allow someone who has exhibited hateful and even violent behavior towards others based on their racial identity, gender identity, or religious beliefs to be in my life. Kindness, tolerance, love, and acceptance are core values in my life, and I refuse to compromise them for anyone, even my brother Colin, who has unfortunately made his opinions very clear in private. For me, there is no further conversation to be had about rebuilding relationships with anyone in my life after reaching the point of physical violence and hate speech. I cannot speak any further on why Colin has done these things, just that I have witnessed them. I've had hundreds of people messaging my private accounts with the most hurtful words you can imagine in the last few days, all without knowing the full truth of what we've been through. I'm asking for peace and privacy and no more hate mail going forward. Kate later posted a response on her own Instagram saying, I have never wanted to have to do this, but I feel I have been backed into a corner and left with no choice. Although it saddens me to do so, I need to speak out now. My son Colin, whom I love with all my heart, has received multiple psychic psychiatric diagnosis over the years. For the safety of myself, his brothers and sisters, and for his own well-being, he was placed in a facility following years of outpatient treatment, which proved insufficient for his needs. The decision to admit him was made by emergency room doctors following one of his many attacks slash outbursts, this one involving his use of a weapon. Fast forward to the present day and following John's removal of Colin from treatment, my son's unpredictable and violent behaviors have sadly continued regularly towards John, Hannah, and others around him. Colin's distorted perception of reality is one of the many issues that he has always struggled with. As many people who have family members grappling with mental health issues can attest, it rarely is and sadly surprising when complete fabrications occur and is just another heartbreaking facet of this fight. All parent-child relationships are complex, but when mental illness is involved, it is incredibly complicated and painful and certainly not easy for others on the outside to understand. All measures that were taken in our home were at the explicit recommendation of his pediatric psychiatrists and or his team of specialists and were put into place to safeguard every member of our family, 
our friends, as well as our family pets. Unfortunately, I believe Colin remains a very troubled young man who continues to need a lot of help. His brothers and sisters and I have not been directly involved in his life due to his history of unpredictable behavior and violent tendencies towards us. What his sister Maddie posted on social media recently is completely accurate and I deeply appreciate her bravery in doing so. This is all I have to say on the matter and I will not be discussing the subject any further at this time. And well now, John is speaking out about what Maddie and Kate had to say publicly following the Vice mini doc. Him and his girlfriend Stephanie sat down with Entertainment Tonight where he was asked what he thought about what they said. And he said he felt heartbroken when Maddie came out and said what she did because he claims that she hasn't seen him in years and didn't know how she could have said these things about someone that she doesn't really know anymore. And he felt like what she said was all Kate's words and that's where the statement really came from. He said all the things that they said about Colin the last time that any of them have seen him was in the fourth grade so it wasn't making sense to him that that's what they were judging his character off of and I will say that the part that it's really interesting to me is Colin is saying you know he hasn't talked to his siblings since he left John is also going along with that same story but then in Maddie's statement she's saying that these physical threats that he has made towards her and her family have been as recent as last year so it sounds like there has been some communication somewhere along the lines. I'm not sure, but that's what it sounded like in her post. My best guess in terms of what Maddie was saying and what Colin is saying in terms of like not speaking to each other, but she's saying that, you know, he was threatening the family as of last year is that maybe they just haven't responded to those messages from him, but he has reached out to them. And that's why he's saying that he hasn't talked to them in X amount of time and they're saying that they have heard from him. That's the only thing that makes sense. And if he is sending those things, then I get why they wouldn't be responding. But the whole situation, there's just so many different sides. But John goes on to say that he personally has not spoken to his oldest daughters, Maddie and Kara, in over a decade. And as for the remaining sex tuplets with Kate, he hasn't spoken to them in about five. He says he doesn't even know their phone numbers, so he can't reach out. And he feels like if they wanted to talk to him, they could reach out to him. But him reaching out, it's definitely not something that has worked and it doesn't seem possible right now. The only one who still talks to the other siblings is Hannah. She is still in communication with the siblings that live with Kate. And when talking about Kate, John accuses her of abusing Colin, going out of her way to separate their family. So he's basically saying everything that Colin has said. And he's also adding that he felt like she sided with TLC. And that was a reason that split up their family. And I think that has to do with the fact that there was a point where he didn't really want to film anymore. And she did. And he tried to prevent that filming. And he got in trouble with TLC. It was a whole breach of contract since he was trying to prevent them from filming filming they booted him from the show and it was Kate plus eight after that and since her and the kids were always filming and he wasn't on the show anymore I think that's where he's talking about she sided with the network and that really affected their family because then there was obviously a big divide if she's filming and he's not on the show but that wasn't the only thing that John was saying during this Entertainment Tonight interview. He also went on to say that Kate has done horrible, god-awful things to alienate him from his children. And he was really blaming her for the reason why the kids that live with her do not talk to him anymore. He feels like she has painted this one-sided story and they don't want to speak to him because of whatever she has said to him and that, you know, he can't reach out to them because he's tried and it has not worked. And it's going to be when his kids figure out that she has been telling this one-sided story that, you know, maybe they'll reach out to him, but he feels like his hands are tied in this situation. And in regards to Colin speaking out about what his mom and sister have said about him, John said that he's unable to probably see what has been said because he's at boot camp for the Marines right now and that he hasn't mentioned anything in any of the letters that he's written John so he feels like he doesn't really know about what has been said and I mean these things that Maddie had come out to say and the things that Kate have said are extreme accusations and it's just really sad what has happened to this family and obviously we just don't know what has actually gone on behind closed doors there's two extremely different sides speaking out here so it's impossible to pick out the truth when there is just so much coming out from wildly different directions but as of right now that is what john had to say after seeing kate and maddie's reaction to the doc let me know if you guys have been following this family's journey since reality tv and what you think about all of this in the comments i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys Oh, <laughs> oh,